Good morning friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options and this is the Morning Market Prep video for January 18th, 2024. Well, as you can hear, my voice is a little bit better. I'm still a little bit weak, but I'm feeling quite a bit better. So thank you for putting up with me this week as I have been not so good. Um, let's take a look at what happened overnight. Asian markets, um, uh, well, particularly Hong Kong staged a nice rebound uh, coming up 0.75% yesterday after a substantial loss the day before. And Asian markets finished mixed and mostly higher with Shanghai still lingering around those five-year lows. If we take a look in Europe, Europe is looking better this morning as well green across the board trying to move back up here this morning and we've got um, u.s markets also trying to catch a little bit of relief rally showing a bullish open here at the moment oil prices are also moving higher this morning apparently opec put out a demand estimate due to the um, severe cold here in the united states suggesting um, um, U.S. is going to need some more oil, so uh, probably not a big surprise there, but um, oil prices are bouncing higher this morning. Probably the biggest thing giving us a, a bit of relief here uh, this morning is that bond yields are slipping back just a little teeny tiny bit, ticking back, and that's actually um, making the dollar dip just a little bit. Um, and also moving some commodity prices back up. So kind of keep an eye on that. What does all that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at these index charts and see whether or not we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the market for today. Remember, try to shake off a bit of bias. I know uh, there is an awful lot of hope and truly an awful lot of hype in the market right now. So be kind of careful. We're, we're a bit of an emotional market and we could see some big point moves as I've been pointing out the swings in this market could be substantial. Let me just go to the Dow here to give you a quick idea. From yesterday's low, if we were to move back up and try to break out of these highs because of the bullishness, just know that that's 683 points. That is a very big potential of a whipsaw. You'll also want to note that if we were to move lower from this point and really look for the next level of price support in the chart, if we break that big black candles low over there and drop it down into this next price support, that's 800 points. So just be aware of the big potential moves that are possible in this market. And we are relatively uncertain about the future we keep getting these this conflicting data and we keep hearing from companies about more layoffs um, one of which um, google this morning is announcing that more layoffs are on the way so what does that mean in here on the diamonds well if we take a look you can see the diamonds trying to push up here in the pre-market and we did catch a little bit of buy support right in there yesterday off of the low of that support. So if those bulls can continue that move here this morning, then I would be looking for a pushback right up in here into this little resistance area of the chart. You can see there's a little bit of a wide area in here. So watch that closely if we can push back up in here. That would be the first test breaking back through there. If we break back through there, then there is a pretty good shot that we have um, that chance of pushing right back up here trying to test the highs of this range bound move here in the diamonds so 
watch that carefully. Now remember, pushing on lower, if we happen to find that bearish uh, in the market and we were to push on lower, this would be the next level of price support here in the diamonds. And that is that breakout high. That's that all time breakout high in, um, in the diamonds. We might find some support in there before we would really have to push back um, to test some of the other levels of price support. If we take a look at our moving averages, one thing you do want to kind of keep in mind is our our 50 day moving average is finally starting to catch up here. But you'll want to notice that we still have a big potential move that could occur if we come back and test that 50 day moving average. And the separation between our 50 and 200 is pretty remarkable at the moment as well. Still showing us that extension here in the market. If we take a look at our SPY, SPY, nice little hammering pattern yesterday um, as big techs reversed. They were moving down pretty sharply, reversed um, at the end of the day yesterday. So we're bouncing back up off of this breakout um, area of these 2021, 2022 levels here in the chart. And we may be pushing back up toward that um, breakout high, that all time high here in the SPY. You'll notice if this does hold in here, then that could be a resumption of the upside trend with a little bit of higher low in here holding that support. So we'll want to give that some good respect here for that possibility to push on through. If we look right through this area right in here, I'll just draw a line up there. You can see that we've got a price resistance level right in here. We're going to be pushing up here first thing this morning, maybe testing that level to see whether or not we can break through. If we do break through there, then I would suggest that the next level is up here testing that resistance high and that possible all time high breakout in the spy and boy, they really want it. Um, so watch that carefully. Now, if the bears were to somehow find inspiration today, um, you could see that possibility if this candle here were to reverse breaking back down, there's not much for support in that area as you can see. So the chances of moving back down into some of these lower areas of the spy could be possible. We'll want to watch carefully for that. QQQ, QQQ showing a nice pop here this morning. They're really pumping the techs. Um, again, they want that spy to make an all time high breakout. And for some reason, we have a capacity, a willingness to chase big tech stocks. Doesn't matter what price they are. And um, there's really some concern um, on, on that because the Magnificent Seven is dangerously um, overextended. But that being said, continuing to push on up, we may break this um, little downtrend worry of that little lower high in that chart. And if we can break through this resistance right here, break back through this area, then there's every reason to believe that we can stretch on up, retest these highs, and maybe even see break out to uh, another all-time high in the QQQ. And again, this is that higher low, that possibility of resumption back on higher in the queues. Now, if we take a look right in here, if the bears um, were to come in and uh, do a little fighting today, I'm not saying they're going to, but if they were pushing back down to this area right in here first to, to test these areas of price support um, would be important. And then if that were to fail, then we're probably down into this area. So watch carefully for some potential whipsaws here too because of these big point moves that we're seeing in the market. And then if we take a look at our IWM, IWM did find some price support here um, in this level. Um, and, and not a big surprise here, we we'd failed that lower high area up here when we gave up this trend break again and failed at his resistance. Coming down in here into this price support, this would be a pretty good area to get a little bit of a bounce off of. If we do bounce, first off, let's look and see how we deal with this trend right in here. We might find a little resistance right in this kind of double whammy area coming up off of that trend and into that price resistance. 
excuse me, if that resistance, if that resistance can, um, can um, break, then look for this next level up here to be tested again. Um, if the bears were to come in and push this back down and break down through this level of support, I think the next level lower would be right down in here on the lower side of that little platform um, in the chart. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX spiked up yesterday, did make a new high. So a little bit of fear showed up in the market, but you can see that rally back right at the end of the day actually put in a shooting star pattern, which would suggest a little bit of relief rally might be possible here today. We'll want to watch that carefully as the data rolls out. The data could be problematic for us still, so watch that carefully. Um, but right now, this would suggest maybe a little rest or pullback coming in the chart. The question that we'll want to be watching is if the bulls can really start pushing, we need to come all the way back down here and break this low. If we don't break that low and we put in a lower high, that's where we start to run into those little bit of worries. And you can see we're just kind of modestly creeping up here in a little bit of uncertainty in the market. If we take a look at our uh, T2122, our T2122 rebounded uh, at the end of the day yesterday coming up. And that left us this little hockey stick down here. Um, on the bottom. Now, hockey stick pattern like this on the bottom could mean relief rally is an, um, getting ready to occur. Notice that we are here in the bullish reversal zone. So we did finally squeeze things all the way down into that area. We'll want to watch this carefully and remember that we still have that possibility based on how the data comes in. We could linger down here for just a little bit but if we can get those bulls engaged here today that possibility of a relief rally back up doesn't necessarily mean we zoom all the way back up but um, certainly gives us that opportunity for a little upside relief here in the market if we happen to linger down here just realize that's not would not be a big surprise after being so um so overextended in the short term then we could linger in this area for just a bit and i think it's going to be very data de dependent today we take a look at our t2108 our T2108 didn't show us any relief in the end of the day, showing us that little bit of a hook or a little bit of a pullback. We did drop below that 50% area here in the chart, um, breaking down through a little bit of price support in here yesterday, feeling that bearishness. But if we were to bounce in here um, in this area, you'll notice that there is a little bit of price support across some of these areas here in the chart so if the bulls were to step in and bounce up here well look for a retest up here around 50 and we might even break through that with a good bullish push today if the bears were to continue to find inspiration here today then i think maybe down here into the area of 40 would be that next area of support that i would be watching for that potential relief bounce on uh, T2107, T2107 pulling back here, as you can see, we saw no relief bounce in this um, yesterday, even with that rally back. So percentage of stocks below uh, above their 200-day moving average, uh, pulling back toward that 50% area, but not to worry. Notice right in here, that's a pretty good level of price support in there. So if that were to continue to come back, I would still expect some kind of relief rally to occur here before too long. Slipping through that area, you can see we could drop pretty easily down here into that 45 range. Um, but still, that's not terrible on T2107. It is, um, you know, showing us that proof that we were very overextended in the short term. And unfortunately, we haven't been getting the kind of earnings that would really give us that big warm and fuzzy to say, hey, this earnings season is going to be great. So far, that really hasn't been the case when we look at our financials. If we take a look at our uh, T2101, T2101 did show us that bounce back up, showed us that breadth increase yesterday on the sell wave. 
So um, that is a little bit of a concern. We'll want to watch this today. If we can get that bullish relief rally and bounce and then continue to see this stretch higher, if you're a bull, that's what you want to see. You want to see that breadth increase. If we happen to catch a buy wave here today and we see um, uh, those buyers picking up on that relief rally, but we see breadth decline, uh, be very wary of that. That can be a, um, a concern showing that those buyers are really kind of uncertain and potentially wearing out. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar, we've got quite a few things to be paying attention to here uh, this morning. First off, we're going to hear, oh, we've got Bostic out here speaking, and Bostic's going to be speaking twice today. Um, we've got housing uh, starts this morning that we'll want to be paying attention to. Those housing starts, let me show you that. They're looking for those to decline just slightly. So watch that carefully. Remember, we had data yesterday that, that actually showed the market maybe heating up a little bit. Um, so if these numbers come in higher than expected, then that could be um, one of those reasons where the market would be just a little bit concerned about a reheating of the market and higher inflation. So keep an eye on that. If they decline, that might actually help uh, the market get, catch that relief rally today. If we take a look at jobless claims, this is also going to be important. Jobless claims have been much hotter than expected and much stronger than expected. Um, but we've been seeing quite a few of those layoffs in companies. So we might start seeing this pick up here soon. If we were to see these numbers start to pick up, then that would probably help the market relieve some of this uncertainty about rates. Um, if we see those uh, jobless numbers um, uh, go up. If those jobless numbers continue to be very, very strong, that's going to continue that uncertainty here in the market um, and worries of, um, you know, Fed continuing on this path of uh, higher for longer um, could disappoint the market, particularly when we kind of got a little bit ahead of the Fed here. Um, and then we've got the Philly Fed manufacturing number. Philly Fed is ex expecting a negative 6.7. It was a negative 10.5 last time. If you remember what happened with the Empire State number, huge mess on the Empire State number. So keep an eye on this. If we continue to see our manufacturing surprising to the downside, that could bring in a little bit of concern for the market as well. And then we've got a natural gas report. And what's probably going to be more important is this uh, petroleum report with these uh, this new cold weather season, seeing how those supplies are being handled here right now. Um, that could have some impacts on um, oil and gas today. So watch that closely. Then as we move on, remember we've got Bostic this afternoon. We've got some auctions and a Fed balance sheet later on in the day that nobody's going to be too concerned about. We've got existing home sales tomorrow morning and consumer sentiment, Baker Hughes rig count. We've got bar speaking and daily speaking along with the Treasury International Capital. So first thing in the morning, we've got some uh, market moving potential numbers and then we'll lighten up heading into the weekend. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar here today. Earnings are starting to pick up here just a little bit, and next week they will really start to ramp up here in the market. Um, I'm not going to try and cover all of the, the notables this morning. There are just a few more, but I'll give you a highlight in here. We've got stocks like OZK that will be reporting today, uh, Fastenal will be reporting. Looks like we're getting a bounce here in Fastenal this morning. Uh, JB Hunt will be in here. We have several regional banks um, on the list today that will be reporting, um, including uh, Key. It looks like Key is moving lower here today. We're going to hear from uh, PPG here today. And we've got WNS on the list today. So there's a few of those notables. If you want to catch the full list of notables, make sure you click the link just below the title of the video. That will take you back to the morning blog where you can get that full list.
So with that, everyone, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for the day. But before we do that, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, well, you know what I'm going to ask. Click that subscribe button. Also click that bell icon when it pops up pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could do me that favor and that would be click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment thank you so much to everyone who does do that truly appreciate it thank you to everyone who supports the channel through the buy me a coffee link and all the kind responses you guys are truly remarkable thank you so much for supporting the effort of just putting these videos out on a daily basis you guys are awesome let's take a look at um, some of these stocks setting up and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact do your own due diligence be very very careful here in the market try not to um, blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas follow your trade plan your trade guidance and follow your trading risk tolerances so let's take a look here at a few stocks boy um um, yesterday Campbell soup had a nice big bounce here yesterday a little bit of defensive stocks uh, picking up here on the day now what we've got going on here in Campbell soup is this big wedging pattern so let's keep an eye on that if if this can pop uh, and follow on through from here there may be some reason to be watching that to see if we can push on through and make some of those new highs I know when I take a look at this on the weekly that is a pretty sweet looking weekly chart if you like longer term trades uh, Campbell soup looking pretty good in there um, if we take a look some of some of the other uh, defensive sector stocks that seem to be um, setting up pretty well here and that would be Walmart Walmart's made this nice break through this pretty substantial resistance in the chart here breaking up through showing us those that um, willingness to push on higher and now we're resting in this nice consolidating pattern in here I would look for as we approach this trend here look for that next opportunity that Walmart may push right on through to um, to the upside looking pretty good at the moment now when we take a look at um, stocks like Target Target also pulling uh, pulling back into this price support not looking as strong but we'll want to watch that carefully if we can find this big price support in here and hold there in Target there may be that opportunity of that relief rally to the upside so keep an eye on that and there are certainly others out there trying to hang in Coca-Cola hanging into this nice support area looking for a little bit of bullishness to get moving and continue to that upside here in Coke so watch that carefully now other places that you might want to be keeping an eye on um, as you guys know I mentioned that I am holding a position on MU so I have a bit of a bias here on this trade so keep that in mind but looking at MU here we're seeing a little bit of in, um, pre-market pop going on in here yesterday we pulled back and just kind of held in there around that trend and we see a little bit of push here this morning if we can get a little bit of relief rally to the upside today might be the day that um, MU continues to move on higher so watch that carefully so far this morning looking pretty good um, now I would be remiss if I didn't continue to mention um, these stocks that are continuing to struggle here in the market um, Tesla Tesla finally finding a little bit of price support here the last couple of days um, trying to hold in here so what I would watch here in Tesla is that opportunity that this could rally back to a resistance level in the chart so for example we may rally I'm going to move this line down rally right back up into this resistance area of the chart and then I would look for that next opportunity to potentially short um, Tesla looking pretty ugly here um, at the moment feeling a little bit of pressure with um, cutting slicing prices across uh, Europe because of new competition also doing the same so 
we'll want to keep an eye on Tesla. Um, take a uh, look at um, Hershey. Now Hershey has been struggling along this little um, support area here in the chart. And this happens to be what we call a run right bottom breakout pattern where we finally get back above that 50 day. Hershey has just been pounded lower here. And you can see if that opportunity for this to push on higher, a little pop and drop in the pre-market going on, if that can finally come around and hold, then we might see Hershey moving up to the upside. Keep in mind, you don't have a whole lot of time to, uh, there's plenty of time, but there's not a huge amount of time before we hit earnings here on Hershey. So watch that carefully. Um, other stocks to be paying attention to, you know, if we look um, over in the precious metal area of the market, um, gold has been pulling back pretty sharply here the last few days and coming into its 50 day moving average um, breaking down now this morning we're seeing a bounce back up so if i um, take a look at this notice that we've kind of giving up uh, this strong upside trend but uh, we might catch a little bit of price support right in here on this flatter trend in the chart so keep an eye on that if we do see those bond yields starting to pull back and relax we are likely to see that dollar weaken if the dollar weakens we can see gold and silver prices moving up and i was seeing some some stocks um, yesterday in that mining sector that um, were just overly pounded down here um, now that might be just a sign that we're going to continue going lower but sometimes when we get that overextension to the downside we look for a little bit of a lift or a bounce um, um, in those um, stocks so keep an eye whoops keep an eye on this particularly if the dollar starts to strengthen now that um, would also mean if the dollar um, continues um, to, to show weakness, um, uh, or excuse me, starts to strengthen um, uh, because yields are pulling back, we'd want to keep an eye here on TLT. Now, TLT has been in a pretty substantial pullback here in that chart as those bonds um, have been weakening. But we'll want to watch this pretty closely here if uh, those bonds start to stiffen up like they did yesterday and hold. We could find some support levels in this chart and hang on, particularly when I look at a longer term chart. I like the idea or the thought process that we could pull back into this price support area here, find that price support, and then see that opportunity of that moving on higher. And I believe if this were to occur and start moving up, I think we would see the major banking institutions really start picking up on the bonds heavily here. So watch that closely for that longer term potential. It's not ready yet, but it is worth keeping on your radar screen. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks for putting up with this weak voice and um, sticking with me this week. I really appreciate it. I want to wish you all the best. Have a great day, and we'll see you right back here Friday morning.